In this workshop, we will create the geometry of circular cylinder and uh, then we split the geometry of cylinder into five parts so that we can use a sweep method or we can create the hexa meshing in the ANSYS meshing. So the sweep method will sweep the mesh. So first of all, we create the, the map meshing on the, on the faces and afterwards the sweep meshing method will copy these uh, meshing here on this surface to throughout the volume. So the first thing is that we need to split or we need to decompose the cylinder into the five parts so that we can make hexa meshing. So starting point is that we start with the, the new geometry and that model was just to show you that how, what is the final product of the, this uh, workshop. So starting with the X5 plane and click on locate and from a sketching menu from a sketching tab click click on circle and uh, then put the, your mouse on the origin and it should show, show you the symbol P and click here and then move your mouse in any direction and click anywhere on the screen. The next thing is you set dimension for this geometry and uh, I put dimension as uh, 1 meter and the dimension line is now too large here so I will move this dimension line towards the circle and uh, now I will apply the extrude command to make the 3D cylinder from uh, this uh, 2D sketch and the length of cylinder I will choose uh, 10 is a very arbitrary length and you can decide depending on the requirement of your CFD simulation and then click on generate. So now we will create the three sketches on the two more sketches on the X5 plane and first I will create the square and I, I will split the geometry into the two parts. One is inside square, second is the remaining geometry and then I will create the four more, more curves on the third sketch and then I split the remaining geometry into four more parts. So keep in mind that we create the multiple sketches on the same plane. So choose the XY plane and then click on the sketch, new sketch and select the sketch 2 and click on locate and then again from a sketching tab I will create a rectangle so click in the second quadrant and move towards from first, third and then the fourth quadrant in this way and then from dimensions I put the dimension of the general and before that I will set the constraints and that the, this geometry should be symmetrical around the x-axis and the y-axis so here I have the symmetry constraint so first of all we have to choose uh, the object around which you want to make your geometry symmetric so in this case this is the x-axis and y-axis so first I will choose the x-axis and you can also choose the first y-axis is your choice and then choose the two lines parallel to the x-axis and then again I will choose the y-axis and the two lines of the rectangle parallel to the this y-axis so now this geometry is symmetric about the this uh, x-axis and y-axis and now I go to the dimensions and uh, with the general option I will click on the one line, one horizontal line and then one vertical line and put dimension let's say as the point 0.35 and similarly for vertical dimension 0.35 and after that I will click on the extrude and uh, this will automatically select the my sketch 2 and uh, from the operations choose the slice material this will slice the geometry into two parts one is the square part or the cube part and second remaining part of circular cylinder here and uh, the extent is uh, is not a fixed but it should be through all so it will cut the geometry throughout the length of the cylinder and click on generate and now this is in the after uh, this operation now this is in the transparent mode you can change the mode to the uh, the visible mode or the opaque mode so now we have the two solid bodies one is the outside second is the inside one is here second is the inside and uh, now I will create the third sketch and third sketch will be used to divide this remaining circular cylinder into four more parts 
and uh, now click on the new sketch and select sketch 3 and then click on look at and then I will create a four lines and these are four lines at the 40 degrees to the x-axis y-axis on the four sides and the length is uh, doesn't matter here so you should you should choose the point P on the this inner square this is very important and the length is not very it's not important here so it can be any length it should be but outside the, this circular cylinder because we want to spread geometry so that's why it should be outside the this uh, whole geometry and then on the second side then join them doesn't matter that which angle or which uh, length you are putting here for this uh, construction but only thing is that it should be outside secondly it should be at the 40 degrees angle to the x and y axis and then here so these are very arbitrary lines here and all the lines are not matching each other and then from dimensions which is very important here that angle should be of 45 degrees so i will choose the x-axis the line here then again this line so this time i am getting the some uh, different angles so i will right click here and click on the alternate angle so it will give me some other option and it's not required here again so i will again right click and click on the alternate angle this is the angle i need here and similarly for remaining two more lines okay so the angle i'm getting is a 45 degrees okay so we are getting some over dimension entities here so let's say okay so maybe i can uh, delete the the upper curves for a time being so let me delete them okay and uh, put the dimension as a 45 degrees so this is also moving because this this square is symmetric so that's why it is not possible to over constrain and this is also modifying the angle here as well so i can trim the remaining line and then join them again in this way and also on the on the lower side so the important thing is that it should have the symbol p so it means that the, we are putting the line on the point and in this way this will close the my sketch if the close is not is not uh, this is cannot closed and for open sketch we cannot we cannot create the uh, sections to split the geometry into the multiple parts though this will only make the some surfaces and that is not useful for us and after that i will again use extrude command and again i will choose the operation as a slice material and this is going to be the through all and uh, you can see the preview of the this uh, whole uh, command of the extrude for this sketch 3 and now click on the generate and uh, you can hide these uh, x axis y axis z axis and as well as uh, this uh, these sketching lines so now you can see that we have now the five solid parts now we can create the hexa mesh but before that we want to create the single part because if you don't create single part the mesh will not be connected on the different parts of the circular cylinder so five parts and we have the different five meshes on them but for cfd purpose they should be all should be connected to each other and they should be continued so that will be done in the next part of the video